Step 2. Learn and grow continuously. According to Mahabhagavatam, an Indian Purana, there are 84 lakh species on this planet. Out of which 83,99,999 species cannot learn, they cannot grow and they cannot rise above nature. Only we as human beings are the only species who can learn, who can grow and even rise above nature. Because when we are born, we neither know how to swim nor how to fly. We have learned swimming, sailed boats and even manufactured rockets and airplanes that can fly. So it is important that you realize this fact that what you can be by this evening can be totally different from what you were this morning. What you were before watching these videos can be totally different from what you can be after watching these videos. You should continuously learn and grow in every aspect of your life, health, spiritual, social, family, financial and more. We have already learned a lot of things right from our childhood, from our parents, teachers, friends, family and the society. We will have to unlearn a few things carefully, uncondition our brains and learn a lot of great things by doing two things. Number one, read great books. How many of you maintain a good book collection or library at home and work? If you are not doing it already, Please start with the autobiographies of great people like Mahatma Gandhi, APJ Abdul Kalam, Abraham Lincoln. When you read their autobiographies, you will feel great about yourself because you will realize they have committed the very same mistakes as we did when we were kids, when we were in college and even as adults. But at some point in their lives, they have realized them and they have built a character of values which led to what they are today. Earl Nightingale said, we are all self-built but only successful people admit it. All these great people admit their mistakes and they tell us through their autobiographies not to commit the same mistakes in our lives. The rest of the people simply take all the success onto their shoulders and all the failures onto others. They blame others for those mistakes. So maintain a good library with all the autobiographies and other great books, read them continuously, learn and grow each movement. The second great way of learning is from people who have already achieved what you want to achieve in your own life. What you can learn by reading hundreds of books and attending thousands of trainings can be easily learned from these positive, energetic and people at a higher conscious level. At the same time, you will have to slowly move away from the negative people. These could be your friends, relatives, colleagues. You have to slowly move away from them because one negative impression is equal to 17 positive impressions. That is, if somebody comes and tells you that you cannot do something in your life, then 17 people have to come and again tell you that you can do it, you can do it, so that you can reconsider that idea. So slowly move away from these people, it could be your friends, relatives, colleagues. And as you meet these people who are at a higher conscious level, who have already achieved what you want to achieve in your life, your circle will change and automatically all this negativity, negative energy in your life will go away. But it is your responsibility to meet these people at a higher conscious level, read their books, attend their seminars and meet them whenever and wherever possible and learn and grow in every aspect of your life. More than 90% of human beings are simply born, they eat, they mate, raise a family and they die. And it is your choice if you want to make it into the top 10% who go in the opposite direction of the flow.